Hello boys and girls, welcome to Peak Over My Shoulder in Oblivion Lost. We are currently underneath the Pripyat uh, Stadium and nearing the gates to the NPP. And to get there I had to fight through some pseudo giants. Well, <coughs> I didn't actually have to, it was more like a labor of love. And then there was some military shooting at me, but I, I don't know where they have gone. Anyway, I am about... Whoa! <laughs> I am about to enter the NPP, and I know that the uh, level changer doesn't have a warning, so I'm gonna pause recording for a second. So... We have arrived at the power plant. Let's grab a bite. Who's Quartet? Are they like with us or not? Ah, this little piggy is standing still in the air. Okay, this gives me ideas. Anyway, manual save comes first. If I'm not mistaken, uh, this uh, level, level changer works both ways, so I don't want to go back. That's for shooting at me at the stadium. your quote-unquote vacation, then yeah, I pull a chance, of course. Hmm. What's this? Fall for ground or not? I can't remember. Uh, I know there must be a level changer here, but I can't remember if it was... if it did have a prompt or not. Let's try. Okay, nothing so far. Everything looks quiet from here. Ah, okay, this was the safe to explore area. Okay. Ah, the level changer, the back way, I think, is over there by that uh, gate. So, here we are at the end. And I have no intention whatsoever to comply with the uh, with the uh, normal in-game sequence of things. In fact, I do intend to uh, go poking around in, uh, in Twilight Zone almost right away. one way in somewhere around these pipes. Oh, now I remember. Another one! Hello, fellas. I hope it is not your vacation either. Or maybe it respawns. Which would be interesting. Oh! Maybe the quartet or the troopers. I don't know.
Come on, you're standing still. Wait, which ammo am I using? Okay, the right one. Or maybe this one's indestructible. Let's see. Right. I suspect I might be wasting ammo here, so... Let's hop over the fence instead. Also, where's the debris from the fallen chopper? Hello. Can I walk through the walls here? No. Huh, okay. This is the part where we have to be careful because some of the uh, surfaces are full for you. I the uh, grass in this particular area is uh, still safe, but uh, uh, but uh, the uh, cooling basins <coughs> and some other are not. more ammo on it than is healthy so onward to elsewhere what about this road is this for for Twilight zone is nice this time of year. Another one. Hello. Oh, it's one of the scripted jump choppers. I think. Is this one of the one of those that you can uh, trigger by stopping by the right spot? here. Show me your face. Oh, here you are. Uh, uh, if I could, you know, get the visual so that I could perform atrocities on your ass. was standing still and was only visible at certain angles, but it's also moving around and is visible only at certain angles. All these complicated things. Yo. Give me visual. Hello. Ah, this might be the... This might be the chopper that you cannot. Um, round. It is shooting though. Let's examine further. I'm not going to save because just yet. Because if I I'll show you 
Quartiert. Should, should be able to stab that one actually. Uh, okay, I, I missed. Because. Because uh, certain things work different <laughs> in the zone. This zone, I mean. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, reload the last quick save because I have wasted ammo on things that I don't want to waste my ammo on. Scripted, but it's also indestructible. Yeah, okay, let's reload. Alright, and apparently that's where I'm back at. Okay, so let's go and observe. So I think I probably should be doing more observing and less shooting. Ah, so the other chopper here is not here yet. And now it is. Okay, maybe it was just visible at certain angles as they are sometimes. Okay, so they start spitting smoke and fire right away, but, but they don't actually fall. Okay. No, I know that after everything else, uh, the one thing in this level that I will have to survive is the scripted uh, blowout and uh, often enough when you especially if it's uh, if it's the first game or, or one of the first games then uh, and especially if it's unmodded game where you don't uh, regularly deal with blowouts the situation sort of leads you yoink, leads you into uh, believing uh, that, uh, that once you're uh, once you're in the sheltered area, you're gonna have to. Ah, oh, there's two of them there. Okay, you're gonna have to uh, drop into the next level, but. Uh, in the modded game where we have hello where we have a concept of a blowout shelter I think uh, it's probably possible to uh, <coughs> to tough it out uh, and then return to the ground okay manual save here No, 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 no. Get all the 
job. Uh, say. Hello. You look damaged. I would even say you look undead. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> 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 well, that was unexpected. <laughs> I thought I had to like stab it first and start slowly emitting smoke and then I would go into safe distance and you know, shoot it or something. I guess it was undead. Quick save. Ah, my suit didn't even get too much take too much damage. So it would appear that these choppers are props at best. Well at most. Whatever. Oh, don't you throw rockets at me? <coughs> in the uh, Yantar Twilight Zone when I once went uh, behind the corner and, uh, and uh, took down the chopper there I was using pistol and I was standing underneath it and the result was that once it exploded it hilariously dropped onto me and killed me so save again and <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> yeah, suckers. Okay. Well, that was fun, but now let's find some more. Let's switch weapon fuel, so let's check the map page, which is right here. And stay off the road, it's fall through. Also, the ground here looks toxic. Hello! Oh, where's the new sun tiles? Is this not the world's edge proper? Or maybe it is that the sun never shines in the, at the center of the zone. And that's why you don't need the sunblock tiles. in a different plane of existence and it gets solar power uh, sort of <laughs> please don't fall down on me I think there's a fall for a ground over there. Um, what's happening? Are there actually textures on top of this this texture? I'm confused. Is there a chopper? <laughs> okay, I see how it is. <laughs> I 
if a chopper falls down from the on the ground. Oh, is there a ground tile here? Might be. Quick save. And can I walk on this? In this case, I'm. Oh, I can actually walk on this. Whoa, groovy! But this also means that. Oh, okay, the fall through ground doesn't start until over there. Uh, I apologize for the flicker, but I want to see what's over there. So this is the edge proper. Oh, why why did it stop flickering now? Huh, okay. Yeah, so if the if the chopper is positioned on the ground proper then I can't damage it, of course. This is where the reality really loses its edge. Bam. Okay. I seem to remember that some other map <coughs> had similar flicker thing in the areas that weren't actually supposed to be visible or accessible. Right then. Show me more choppers. Uh oh. A road that I can't step on, I presume. Oh no, this, is, this one's cool. There's just a rift in, in reality. I find that there is this special kind of peace in the twilight zones of big areas, especially of the big areas. Maybe that's the special hell that everybody keeps speaking about. Oh, and I get the visual of the NPP from this side, don't I? Except they are not very visible because they are not supposed to be. Okay, I'm making a manual save here, in case <coughs> I, uh, I fuck up somewhere, so that I will have some stepping stones. Yes. Yes, show me. the future where the uh, chimney has already been dismantled. The frame rate is a stable 20. I can live with it and so can you. I know I should probably lower some settings. I just can't be bothered right now. I will I will do it for the next episode. This looks like sun ish. Okay, let's see how far the land extends on this side. Hey, where did it go? Okay, I think the <coughs> flickering uh, textures are starting on this side again. And as far as I remember... Oh, this is a railroad, I believe. As far as I can remember... The uh, levels of uh, NPP 1 and NPP 2 
uh, relate in a similar manner <coughs> as poor and uh, and wild territory, as in they are both the, both levels are on the same uh, are on top of the same terrain, and uh, the and uh, the uh, active in-game parts for one level are the uh, wonky scenery parts for the other level. Any footsteps here? No, I mean footprints. The grass grows. Are we at the edge now? Oh yeah, we are actually at the edge. So, ladies and gentlemen, on our left there is the ravine of void that will lead you to a void. And on your right, you can't see it uh, right now, but on your right is the uh, nuclear power plant of Chernobyl. Somewhere, I swear, it is there. Okay, so the flickering texture returns. Do we have any choppers here? Okay, so the edge is over there. Lost Alpha, uh, when I first reached uh, the uh, this similar NPP level as this one. Oh, I'm invisible too. Oh dear. Uh, then I went exploring a bit and... Can I step in there? Quick save first. <gasps> uh oh, uh, it's the leap of faith. Exploring uh, all over the uh, all over the level, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> in uh, in one corner, gosh. <sighs> okay, so only certain areas are affected. It's where the reality flickers in and out, where where the uh, course of time and the uh, and the path history is not settled. <laughs> it keeps flickering in and out of existence, waiting for the right trigger to settle one or other way. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I went uh, uh, went exploring the whole level, uh, in the Lost Alpha NPP level, and uh, in one uh, uh, one corner. They have placed a building that's identical to the uh, uh, to that uh, construction under construction thingy in uh, wild territory uh, where the mercs uh, reside. So that was a very cool moment, and it made me brought me much joy. Okay, I believe. We are now at the other side <coughs> of the NPP already, like behind it, basically. Ah, so this is the basin area. Is this full for you? I can't remember. Oh, this is solid. Now this is the... Ah, oh, it's the uh, riverbed. And this is where you find fucking footprints. Yeah! Bam. I know that technically they are just part of the environment texture, but 
still, I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> Okay, let's circle around and through the back of the NPP and try to make our way back over here. Maybe we can find some more choppers to uh, stab in the way. certainly hear some. At least when I'm standing downwind the correct way. <coughs> now, in uh, a bunch of episodes, when I have explored and poked to my heart's content in NPP1, uh, then I shall also be entering the NPP proper. I mean, I, I will... Hello? What's this? A hole in the fabric of reality. Again. I think it might be... Ah, there's one corner here. I think it might be some tower or something. Electrical line thingy. Now, where was I? Plotting my evil course. Uh, so, yes, once I have. Once I have done all the things uh, in, uh, in the first MPP level, then I intend to actually uh, go through the. Uh, uh, go through the sarcophagus. As you would do in normal game. Uh, naturally break... Where am I? I'm in some sort of secluded corner, it would seem. go through the sarcophagus as well and break through the door naturally and then uh, naturally proceed to Twilight Zone. I, I know I have already made one video there but uh, I think for this uh, series. So is this a building over here or is this the yard? What does the map say? Yeah, I'm okay. I am behind the walls or behind the fence of the NPP. I wonder if I can get to it from this side at all. Gotta try. You don't know what works. I wonder if this is the same path that I hopped over before, or maybe it's the. Now this is. This looks like the right road. Yo, oink. Okay. And if I proceed that way, then what? Uh huh. <gasps> I think I see the glimpses of the. This is of the NPP right over there. Yes! Yes! Okay, I, I really did lose the sense of direction there. I thought I was... Uh, uh, I had circled around it from the other side already. Sh 
show me your face. Materialize, yes. It is a different future. With different variations and different outcomes. And we shall have to fight to make our own reality happen. Whoa! So blue. Ah, oh, it's a solid texture. Okay, and no, I think I have reached the areas where uh, some buggers might start shooting at me, so... Manual save again. A sip of tactical tea. Scenery, I'm quite sure. Yeah, they don't even react. I don't want to go down there, it's hostile. Besides, if I go there, then I shall wander close to the trigger areas, which I do not want. Oh my goodness. An offering. Milestone here, and I don't actually, uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure what I want to do next, so I shall give myself a little extra thinking time. I will wrap up this uh, explorer episode here and probably start doing another explorer episode. So, for now, bye bye. See you then.